These are the last images at the Granite Mountain Hotshots, preparing to fight the fire that will kill them. A wind shift later sends flames racing toward the team, trapping them in a box canyon. All 19 men die. In the aftermath, friends, family, and officials work to preserve the now hallowed ground and the memories of those lost. We had to get it right. You had to get it right. The result is a memorial like no other that will test your heart as well as break it. This is a good example of the whole way. A rugged seven-mile trail climbing more than 1,000 feet up the side of a mountain. Is it hard to come here? Um, yes and no. No, because I know Andrew is in heaven. 29-year-old Andrew Ashcraft was one of the hotshots killed. His mom remembers him returning from other fires, covered in soot, a smile on his face, smelling of smoke as he hugged her. After we lost him, there were times I would say to my husband, could you just put a fire in the fire pit? I just need to smell Andrew for a minute. On the trail, there are carefully placed plaques every 600 feet. Which means every so often you meet a new member of the crew. This is Andrew, Deborah's son. The last part of the trail is the hardest of all, a 600-foot descent following the same path that the Granite Mountain crew did that day. It's tough physically, but it's very tough emotionally because you end up here, the place where the men made their last stand. Iron crosses marking where each firefighter was found, tightly clustered. The men were as close to each other in death as they were in life. Among them, Karen and Jim Norris's 28-year-old son. Scott was fun-loving and adventurous, and he really enjoyed making people laugh. Um, this is a, a, a very emotional and very um, sacred place to me. It's sacred to another family as well. Firefighters can often be found here, like this Montana crew hiking up during our interview. I gotta hug you, mom's gotta hug, okay. Four years after the deaths of 19 Granite Mountain hotshots, their memorial is a trail for remembering and a path toward healing. Martin Savage, CNN, Yarnell, Arizona.